All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron N7110. We're going to be replacing the screen. I actually already removed the bezel, but I'll put it back later and then show a little bit of how to remove it. All right. Anyways, we got the battery here. We're going to remove that. Slide these two tabs to the side. Then you can go ahead and kind of rotate this to flip it over. And now this is an aftermarket battery. Um, so if you are looking for a replacement, I guess this doesn't have the model, but just search for Inspiron N7110 battery, or you can just send me a message and I'll, or write a comment and I'll respond with a battery you can purchase. All right, I'm not going to do a complete disassembly on here. We're just going to do <coughs> a quick look of what's going on under this little door. Um, there's this one screw holding this <coughs> optical disc drive in there. At least I think that's the one holding it in. Let's remove it and see. Yep. Okay. And here you can see the optical disc drive. This is one of the thicker, it's like 12.7 millimeters thick or something. If you want, you can actually get a hard drive uh, adapter for that. And then you can replace the CD drive with a hard drive um, or an SSD. All right, there's two screws under here. If you're trying to remove the bottom cover, keep that in mind. All right, again, I'm not gonna be taking this completely apart. I think I have some videos of very similar models where I've done that, but for this one, um, because they just need the screen replaced, I'm not gonna be doing that. All right, we undid that screw. Let's see if we can pop this off and see what's under this door. So you have easy access to two sticks of RAM here. <coughs> we'll pull these two tabs to the side, pops up. And the RAM here is PC3 10600S. So you can use any PC3 10600S. I believe you can get some eight gig sticks. So if you want, you can put two eight gig sticks and have 16 gigs total. There's some stuff on here. So I'm gonna try and clean that off. All right. Get that back in, click that back down. All right, sucky thing is it doesn't look like the hard drive is easy to access on this model. So again, if you wanna easily add an SSD, um, you can just replace that CD drive with a um, hard drive caddy. Okay, anyways, we removed the battery because we are gonna be pulling the screen out. Again, I already took the bezel out. So what we're gonna do uh, I'm going to press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. Okay. Um, this will reduce any, um, reduce a lot of the risk of removing this cable because sometimes the capacitors have power and you can fry the screen if you don't make sure to do that. All right. Again, we already removed the bezel. Um, I guess I can put it back to kind of show you how it works. The screen is kind of big, but anyways, this goes on here and... Um, the clips are pretty tough on here. This one, you kind of have to pull them up. So let me see if I can show you. Um, I'm going to put this back on. Oh. Did they cover their... Oh, there's a lot of like dirt and dust in their camera thing here. But uh, anyways, we'll put this back on. This one is a bit tricky to get on and take back out. So keep that in mind. Right. Oh, I should have recorded the first time I did it because now doing it a second time is going to be kind of a pain. But uh, we'll see. Okay, can we get this back on, please? Okay. You can see. You kind of have to like push it up slightly and then push it back down. It's kind of the design is a little bit tricky with these clips. Okay. They also have a crack on this here much dust on this thing. All right. Okay, let's see. And also because this sticks out, it's a little bit tricky to kind of clip this all back in. You kind of have to work your way with your hand behind and in front and try and clip that in. Okay. And I have to actually push all the way down here to do it. So Alright, there's clips in the middle as well as on the back. Um, looks like we got most of those in, okay. Alright, and give me a second because I have a customer coming so I need to make sure that they're not messaging, okay. Alright, so we got the whole bezel back in. If you're wondering, the keyboard does have a way to pop it out from here. You can see these little clips here that hold it. So usually you can pop that out without having to take these screws on the bottom out but to get the hard drive and everything you will have to 
So I pop that out. I'm holding this up. We're going to pop that up. Pop this up. And pop that up. And then I can show you, like, we can pull this together and be careful because the cable's here. And here you can see inside you can have access to the fan a little bit there. Um, but again, if you need to take it completely apart to clean it or to get the hard drive out, you're going to have to take all the screws out. And then you can remove this whole palm rest assembly. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove the screen. So I'm going to rotate it upside down this way because it's probably easier. Um, but basically this one you can't just pull up like this. On a lot of them you can just pull it up like this and it will come out. But in this case because there's clips that go into the top you have to pull it back up this way. And um, kind of like pry this side up a little bit. So it's a little tricky. Okay. So I'm pushing with my thumb on the back half and then... I'm pulling with my fingers this way to try and get it up. And let's see, there you go, you can hear it click. So you do have to kind of rotate it this way to unclip that, and then you can do that. So unclip that, and then you pull up that way, okay? All right. And this is pretty difficult. All right, normally I would do this actually where it's standing up, not like laying flat down like this. But uh, it is what it is. So there you go. Okay. You can see we got the top half out. And then we get to the corners here. Same thing. Kind of. Let me see if I can show this better. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Same idea. Pulling this that way. While also lifting this up. The inside part up. Okay. And that would allow you. Again. You can see I unclipped it using my thumb. And this. The corners are kind of much more difficult, so there we go. And I'll kind of show you what the inside looks like so you can kind of see how this clip, mecha uh, clip mechanism works because it is tricky. This is an old laptop, so I don't even know how many people this is actually going to help, but there we go. Okay, so pull that. And then again, the corners are very difficult because you got both sides that you kind of need to pull diagonally that way. And you can see we got that. Okay. Rotate that this way and we'll get this out. So these you pull forward, it will unclip. You can hear that. Okay. So once you unclip the clips up at the top, you got to undo the bottom ones. And to do that, you pull this um, down. So you can see I go inside. And then I pull it down, and there you go, it unclips. Let's see if I can show you guys what the... can't really see too much what the clips look like there. There's two clips here, small ones. And then under here, they got like these other kinds of clips, like here and here. You got the clips going up around the sides. You got the corner clip here. And these, this one's missing one clip there. When they dropped it or something, or they hit it on something, it cracked this they said they closed on something you can actually see the crack in the screen and here you can see the clip mechanism where oops where it kind of grips there's one here one here so these plastic slot things here they hold on to those clips okay and that's how the thing works all right anyways we're going to take the screen out so there's two screws oops let me flip this upside down so i can show you better there's two screws up in the corners here Okay, normally I would do this while it's standing up, so I'm doing it like this so I can get it in view of the camera. We're going to get this screw out. Okay, keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. Alright, once you get those two out, you'll also want to remove the or undo the screws down here. We're not going to completely remove them, but we just want to undo it until you hear it click so that it can come out. And then what you do is you twist it back like two turns, okay? So like that, and then back two turns. So that way you just have some loose slack here. Okay, we're gonna do that on both sides. All right, and the reason we do that is so we can access the screws along the side here. Um, my customer's actually here right now, so I'll be back, give me a second. All right, so I'm back. Let's go ahead and get this thing apart. So we already drained the power. Again, that's very important. Ooh, where'd all that dust come from? Anyways, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the screen here. So we do, we'll go to one side. We're gonna pull this forward. If it's caught, you might have to 
wiggle it a bit. I don't know why on the left side it kind of gets stuck or caught on there somehow. I don't know what's holding it there, but I guess pull this slightly inward. So I'm going to pull this over to the right and then pull this up. Come on. Like something is grabbing it there. Oh, there we go. Oh, now I see. There's a little clip down here, plastic clip that goes into the little notch there. You can see there's two notches and there's a plastic, two plastic clips that kind of hold it there. So you kind of have to pull it away from there. Anyways, there's screws going along the side here. Um, we're gonna take those out. So there's two screws on this side, or actually three, sorry. There's these two. Hopefully you can see where my screwdriver is going because it's hard for, I can't really hold it in view of the camera since it's kind of awkward. But anyways, there's one all the way down here. We'll get those three out, then we'll move over to the other side. This one also has those clips, but uh, it's already kind of out. Make sure you hold the screen up because since these screws are loose, it might pry out and damage it, so be careful. All right, there's three screws here as well, um, but in this case, one screw is missing. I don't know where it went, um, <clears throat> but it was already missing when I got it, so. Okay, so we'll get those screws out. Okay, and if you're wondering, the third one is down here. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go ahead now and pull the screen forward. Be very careful, um, letting this drop forward. Okay, and you don't wanna accidentally damage this. Once we got that, you can see there's this little tape piece here that's holding this down. So we're gonna get under there and peel that up it does help if you have like a little um, kind of like a plastic razor blade or something that you can kind of cut thing off okay oh this one got a little bit dull I've been using it for a little while all right we got a little piece of it up we're gonna now grab and peel that up okay all right then we can go ahead and kind of wiggle this thing off like this all right and then we got to get this out. This also has some adhesive holding it. Kind of annoying. I don't know why they put all this adhesive on here. It's not necessary at all. Um, so you're going to have to somehow peel this whole cable up. Okay. You can see, oh, actually, they only put adhesive in this corner. So once you get under here, you can kind of grab that and then you can peel this back. Try not to um, crease it backwards so I'm trying to keep it more flat by pulling it that way as I kind of peel it up but uh, there we go <clears throat> then we're gonna go over here and same idea peel this up keeping my finger here so I don't accidentally just rip it out and then accidentally pull on this thing once you get that out you can go ahead and hold this plastic tab back and the cable and pull that or um, if you can get to the wings here then you can kind of like pull that down just like that and there we go okay so we're gonna take this screen and set it aside if you want here's the screen model number it's best to check your own screen but here you can see the one that i have lp173 uh wd1 and then in parentheses tln1 sometimes when they sell it they'll list it as lp173 wd1 space tl space n1 instead of the parentheses so all right We'll set that aside. The replacement came like this. Hopefully it's okay because they shipped it with a um, CPU cooler that I got for another repair. Um, and yeah, that's not cool because that thing was like just rolling around smacking into this. So hopefully this screen is okay. We're going to cut this thing open. We got lots of tape all around holding this into place. Okay. So I'm just going to cut all this tape off. You want to be careful too because you don't want to accidentally jab into the screen. This is kind of not a good way to package stuff like this because there's a lot of like risk getting into it. So hopefully it's okay. There we go. We cut up the sides on the front and it opens like that. Oh, they put like a this wooden dowel stick here to kind of protect it on both the top and the bottom. <coughs> So we'll take this out. Cool. Now I got some free wooden dowels. Okay. So yeah, they, they put these little wooden dowels here. This is 
to prevent it from bending, I guess. Um, I'm not too sure how effective that is. It does, these do bend a little bit. Um, but I'm more worried that the cardboard, if something like just punched into it, then it will get damaged. Um, the cardboard for the most part looked okay, but I did see like a small dent in it. Maybe I'll show you guys that in a bit. Let me see here. Let me grab that. So I did notice there's like a somewhat of a dent crease thing there. Okay. It doesn't look like it dented or creased into the cardboard, so hopefully it's okay. All right. Anyways, we're going to open this up. Peel this up. Okay, there we go. Get this out, and that worries me a little bit. The model number is different here, as you can see. It's LTN173KT02-T01. That's not that's not the same part that I ordered. Um, but a lot of times, the people that sell these screens, they check to see if they're compatible. So hopefully, it will be okay. All right, we're gonna get this line it up and then I'm going to use the wings to pull it into place I'll go make sure you pull the entire thing in again hopefully you did the battery power drain because that's very important if you skip that part there's a very good chance you probably fried your uh, backlight circuit or your screen already so hopefully you were following along and didn't just skip around and just yank stuff out anyways <clears throat> we're gonna tip this back up Get that into place, and then we gotta get all the screws back in to hold the screen into this frame, okay? So we'll start with the first one, all the way up here. Sorry if you can't see, but I'm doing what I can. Okay, so we got that first top one in, then we'll get the second one, and we'll get this side in. this guy in as well um, you don't actually want to tighten the screws in all the way right away because you do want to be able to maneuver it around to get these screws in so once you get kind of two of them you should probably be okay tightening it but I like to try and get all the screws in first just to make sure everything is lined up and sorry I'm going out of view of the camera um, but hopefully it's pretty straightforward just get all those screws in Okay, so we got those in. Then we'll go down here and get this last one in. Okay, there we go. And then tighten that down. All right, and we'll get the last one up here and tighten that. Okay, now that we got all of that, you can kind of line this back up here and get the screws down here back into place. Okay, tighten these back in. These are actually missing screws at the bottom too. Interesting. Um, they're supposed to be, it looks like there's supposed to be three screws down here. Um, because the plastic frame didn't have a place for a screw to go through it. So I think all three screws are actually supposed to be underneath. Unless they just mark it for three screws, but they reuse this from another model that actually uses three screws. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes they like to do that. Okay, so we got all of those in. We do have two more screws at the top here. We're gonna get the battery in, power it up, and make sure the screen comes on, and then get the bezel back into place, and that should be pretty much all there is to it. We do have to also remove this plastic film that's on top, um, but we'll check the screen's working before we remove that. Okay, there we go. Got all those screws in. We're gonna close this up. Get the battery back in. Battery goes in at an angle somewhat. You do have to get um, this plastic piece in first, okay? So you can kind of angle it like that. All right, then you swing it down. And why isn't it going? Is this, oh, put it in the unlock position. Oops, and drop that in, okay? Then you can lock it back in towards the center. Make sure it doesn't come out. And let's go ahead and power this thing up. 
hopefully we are good to go. All right, push the power button. Okay, and I see the Dell logo, so we should be good to go. As you can see, it's turning on. All right, we're gonna peel the screen thingy off. Let me actually shut it down. Let me, I'll well, make sure it's, okay, it's actually booting completely. Um, in the camera, it's showing it's like flickering. Um, I don't know if that's coming out in the actual video. It's not flickering um, in person, so it's more the refresh rate of the camera. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we got to peel this thing off here. So just grab that and you don't want to pull it straight back. What I do is I roll it off the screen like this. All right. And that way it's not putting pressure on the screen when it peels off. Okay. Again, I need to shut this down, but anyways, let's peel this off again. We're just rolling it. Okay. Sorry. I had to make sure it turned off because. I didn't want to show if there's stuff from the customer on there. Okay, I got that off. Next, we'll get this bezel and put that back on, which I already did in the very beginning of the showing how to remove the screen. Um, this stuff is kind of not lined up right, so um, you do kind of want to make sure that this is staying hidden. Um, okay, so we do have to lift that up. Oh, maybe I should have... I think I actually put too much of the slack like downwards. It should be up higher. So I might have to remove the screen and then fix that. Let me see. This one lines up here and then the clip, the clip will go, where's the clip go? Here, here, no. Okay, so this should be fine. We'll just put the extra slack up here. There we go. So tuck that in, make sure it's not um, sticking out here because you don't want this excess to get damaged. Okay, so tuck that in, make sure this is also going the right way. Okay, and then we'll just get this piece, line it up, click that in. Again, we got to go from the back here as well, pushing at the bottom. Okay. Just work our way up around the edges. <clears throat> All right, good. All right, I think we are good to go. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and it allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't do that, um, it'd be nice if you could watch a few other of my videos so that way the algorithm knows to share my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.